right guys welcome to part two on the custom Yamaha Banshee um, as you guys know last video we picked this up for I think it was eighteen hundred dollars and uh, we did the first test drive on it which was very sketchy this thing supposedly has like 110 115 horsepower um, so very very powerful engine in it from a snowmobile you can see right there the last ride we figured out that these big meaty tires do not do very well on the road and you can't really take it off-roading because there's no suspension you can see it's just a bar in place of the suspension right here so a lot of people in the comments were like don't put a shock in there because it's it's meant for drag racing and you're not supposed to have a shock in there but you can see the size of it right there 11 and 5 eighths so if I wanted to I could put a shock in there and we could probably um, shorten the swing arm and take this thing off-roading but a lot of people wanted to see it drag race so we are going to do a couple passes today with it and uh, we're gonna swap out the tires so instead of these huge tires and wheels you're going to use these whole shot wheels that came with it so you can see the difference in size. About six inches difference right here. So these are 20 by 11 through 10. And these are 25 by 11 through 12. So five inch difference, which is pretty big. It's almost the size of the sprocket in the back. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at that thing. So in order to change these tires out, we have to change the hubs. Because as you can see, the bolt pattern on this hub is way, way tighter than the one on this one. So these came with it, these other hubs. I believe these are Banshee hubs. But these should work out pretty well. Found these in the parts bin. Well, that'll go in there like that. And that should work out, I would think. So, we are going to do that today. And then, we are going to take it for a little top speed run. Because everyone wants to see the top speed of it. And I'm kind of curious as well. Um, because last video it did go pretty fast. I don't know if it's meant for more torque or speed, but looking at the back sprocket, it looks like it was set up for torque because that thing is just giant. I'm not sure how many teeth are on that thing, but it is a lot. <laughs> it's just a giant sprocket. It's got to be like a foot and a half in diameter which is crazy but yeah um, a couple people in the comments also talked about the pipe a little bit they said you should reroute the pipes to go underneath I don't know if there's enough room because of the clutch so if you go underneath it would be like probably this much clearance and I think if you end up taking it off-road it would um, it would hit the pipe for sure because you can see the pipe is pretty thick right here and you got the distance right there so I don't think it would work to go underneath at least on this side this side let me just check <sighs> yeah I don't know I don't know if that would work or not you always try it but it looks kind of cool with the wings kind of completes the look having them come out the the side but we could always go maybe down because you can't go any lower with it because the, the front wheel will hit so it almost have to be below the foot peg but that's getting pretty low so I don't know I'm sure the guys that built this thing tried that already but it doesn't hurt to try either but yeah after today's run top speed run we're probably going to change up the sprocket in the back and probably put a smaller one I might actually have one that fits so we'll check and see 
but we'll go lower with the back sprocket and then do a couple sprocket changes. I'm not sure what it's running for the sprocket right here. Let's just check here. Yeah, it's running a really small one in the back there. Probably like a 14 tooth on that shaft. So, we'll see what happens. But uh, let's get the hubs changed out first and see what this thing can do. All right, we gotta get the pin out first. Get this guy out. Alright, we got the wheel jacked up here. All right, we're gonna grease this up a little bit. And then we'll replace it with the new one. All right, that looks pretty sweet. On to the next one. All right, is it gonna clear that sprocket? That's the question. I don't know, let's lower it down and see what happens here. Clears it by a couple inches. Man, look at the sprocket compared to the wheel. <laughs> Almost the same size. That's crazy. This thing is gonna fly. <laughs> that is going to be 
a wheelie monster. Look at that thing. Let's see if they're on there pretty tight. Yeah, that shouldn't come off. All right, then you guys know from last video we've got this huge uh, wheelie bar for drag racing. So we're gonna try to put that thing on just to see what that looks like and if it mounts up. But uh, it should go right in here onto this red, into these gaps right here. Let's see if we can get her on there. That's how that looks on there. Pretty crazy. Things thing comes off about an inch from the ground. But, uh, looking at the wires over here for the lights, I think this was cut off for the voltage regulator right here. So those wires look like they go to that. And then there's two wires up here that look like they might go to the lights. So we're going to do a little test here and see what kind of voltage we're getting out of these wires. And then we'll hook up the voltage regulator and see if it lowers it to like 12 volts. Because I'm guessing the lights will blow up at uh, 14 volts or whatever they are rated for. All right, let's try to start this thing out. Looks like there's nothing coming from these two wires or these two up here. So no power at all. So I'm wondering where the heck the lights are supposed to get powered by. Might have to take this guy off and investigate underneath there. I don't see any wires though underneath there. Hmm, we'll do some more digging, see if we can find the correct wires. Alright, so I think the stator might be junk on it. Maybe it's not uh, producing power because I looked at the continuity test between the wires and everything lines up from the engine to the yellow wire which is from the stator and then the black wire to ground and they both hook up perfectly so I'm thinking it's something to do with the stator. It's probably not charging or giving power output so that'll be something we look at in the future probably. All right, before we do the top speed runs, um, I just want to check the coolant, make sure that's topped off. All right, here's the coolant right here. Hopefully it's not too hot. And that's tapped off in there. So we're good. Good to go.
all loaded up, ready to go. All right, made it out here. Time for the top speed run. Should be pretty interesting with these smaller wheels on the back and that giant sprocket. We can do 40 to one. All right, all gassed up, ready to go. Let's start this beast up, get it warmed up. Here we go. Let's test the sucker out. All right, let's see what happens here. Start her up. Key on. We got the speedometer right there. We hit 70.9 miles an hour. That was really quick. Make sure these aren't coming off of here. Don't want the wheels to fall off. <laughs> that would be really bad if I did. Wow, that was really fast. Man, I got that really quick. Acceleration on that thing is really good.
has some good pickup obviously it's not gonna be super fast right now because the way the back sprocket set up but holy cow does it get there fast we're gonna have to time it um, in our head and just kind of count like one two three and, and see how fast we can get to 60 miles an hour because it's pretty fast this one just popped right off of here too much torque Put that in her pocket. Oh, and this came off too. <laughs> Everything's falling off. Too much rattling going on, I bet. So basically, gets up to 75 in a couple seconds. At least it feels like.
neighbor was mad. He uh, shook his head when I walked over there. Which is probably understandable. The thing is kind of annoyingly loud. But uh, yeah, I didn't even say hi or anything, just oh, kind of crap crap. But uh, that thing fell off for the second time, so. And you can't, like, clamp it on. Eh, I don't know. We'll just leave it off for now. Leave her off for now. He'll probably run into my, uh, my machine down there with his lawnmower. I have to take it to like a drag track, but I do want to try out that uh, wheelie bar as well. See if that, uh, see if we can just slam on the throttle. So far we uh, still are at 75 miles an hour, but it did get there pretty fast. We will see. done with the first top speed run on this thing and it'd be official top speed I think after like the third run it's kind of freaky um, you can see it right there 78.24 miles an hour it's almost 80 miles an hour on this thing which is pretty sketchy I think the wheels are holding up that's good they're not moving at all and uh, it gets there really quick <laughs> it uh, definitely throws you back so, and that's with me kind of gradually going. Um, if I hammered on it, it would be, it'd be uh, lifting up a little bit. And I think that's where the wheelie bar comes into play. You can just hammer on it and you won't have to worry about it. So we're going to try to install that next, just to see what that's like. All right, we got the wheelie bar on, drag bar, nice and tight on there. So we'll see how that works. Just want to check the gas tank once, see how much gas we use after a couple passes. Uh, about, we've got three fourths of it left. So we use about a quarter, quarter tank. Not too bad. Alright, let's see what happens when we use uh, the drag bar here. Full throttle. Oh boy. I don't know, will I have enough torque? There we go, three, two, one.
All right, I was just about to uh, put this on the trailer, and I noticed it's making a weird sound coming from the clutch, so I think look at it right in there. That's disconnected in there. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Maybe from the other side. But it's disconnected in there. And uh, I don't know how to fix that. So hopefully we can take that cover off and look at it and it won't be too bad. But it's grinding pretty good. Maybe you guys can hear it. Well, it was grinding. So we'll have to take a look at that when we get home. Try to fix that. Well guys, I think that's going to wrap up today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to uh, see done with this thing. Um, I'm probably going to try changing out the sprocket in the back to something a little bit smaller to see if we can get a better top speed. But um, I'm not sure yet because right now it's really torquey and off the gun it can probably beat any quad. It's really fast. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But leave suggestions down below. We'll probably take off the cover here and take a look at the clutch and spec that since one bolt's already out of it. <laughs> probably going to need some lock nuts in the future. Let's see. Oh, we kicked up a little gravel. That's good. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for the next video on this thing. I'll do a couple races, stuff like that. Stay tuned. And until next time, we are out.